we're going to investigate the lowest cost states for retirement so you can have an affordable place to retire. So stay tuned for the full segment. Welcome back. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. With the baby boomers being unleashed, many are looking for a low cost state or an affordable place to retire. So we're going to investigate this topic here today. Now also on this channel, we investigate social security questions, when to retire, how much money you need to save for retirement and investing for retirement. Our main topic here is the cost of living of where to retire. Now many retirees also think about other items such as the climate, family, health care, transportation, quality of life, taxes, livability, or maybe they want a new adventure. Now one of the things I recommend when you do find a place you want to retire, do a trial run. Live there for a few months or a year to see if you really like it. There's three main areas we're going to take a look at. The first one is the general cost of living throughout the United States by state. Then we're going to look at the best states to retire based on affordability. Then we're going to break it down and go deeper and look at it on a county level. The best counties as far as affordability. We're going to first take a look at this cost of living by state. This information came from the Council of Community and economic research. Down at the bottom, we see our indicators here. The very lightest color is the below national average on cost of living. The very darkest equals the national average cost of living. And then the blue is above national average cost of living. Keep in mind, when we look at states that are below national average in cost of living, there's going to be isolated areas within those states where the cost of living might actually be higher. And the same goes true for areas where the cost of living is higher. There's going to be isolated areas where the cost of living could be lower. So what we have here on this chart is the center and the southern portions of the United States. The cost of living is below the northeast along with Florida and also California are above national average in cost of living. Now, interesting enough, what's surprising here, many retirees want to retire in the southern portion of the United States. But if you notice down here, Florida, it's listed as above national average. Now, many surveys put Florida as the number one state to retire to, but we have a changing economic situation in Florida where the cost of living is actually getting higher. Also, many retirees want to retire in Arizona, but we're seeing the cost of living primarily due to the cost of housing going higher. Now let's take a look at the best states to retire in 2022 as determined by bank rate. Bank rate did a study to find the best states to retire in 2022, and they analyzed five different categories, affordability, wellness, culture, weather, crime and affordability had the highest weighting of all five of these. If we look at our ledger, our indicators down at the bottom, the states with the lightest color have the highest ranking and the states with the darker color have the lowest ranking. Now what's surprising here, Florida is ranked number one on this list as far as best state to retire in 2022. Now if we go back over here and compare our cost of living by state, we find that Florida was actually above the national average when it comes to cost of living by state. If we take our arrow and put it over Florida, we'll see that the overall rank on this list is Florida number one. However, the affordability rank here is number 18. And then the culture diversity rank is number one and the weather rank is number five. So even though Florida ranks number 18 on affordability, the high rankings in culture and diversity and weather help pull it up to the number one state to retire, but not necessarily the most affordable state. If we look at the states in the top 10 on this list, we have Florida, we have Georgia ranking number two, Tennessee ranks number eight, Kentucky ranks number six, Ohio ranks number four, Pennsylvania ranked number nine, Michigan ranked number three and was number one on the affordability rank. Missouri ranked number five and number three on the affordability rank. South Dakota overall ranked number 10 and Texas ranked number seven. Here's the overall analysis 
that bank rate completed for the best states to retire. We're looking at the top 20 states here in the overall rank. Now we're going to take a look at the top 20 states by affordability. So if we look over here, we have Michigan, Tennessee, Missouri, Mississippi, Kentucky, Oklahoma, Georgia, Arkansas, Texas, Alabama, ranking as the top 10 states to retire by, based on affordability. And then the next 10 is Ohio, Indiana, Louisiana, West Virginia, South Dakota, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Iowa, and Kansas. So we narrowed down our states with the highest affordability down to 20. Now we're going to take a look at it to the county level. The bank rate analysis for the best state to retire was measured by affordability, wellness, culture, weather, and crime. However, it's difficult to just look at a state and determine if that's the best state for you. Now we're looking at the U.S. housing affordability by county. This is determined by measuring the medium home price versus the medium household income. If we look at our ledger on the right, those counties marked in green is the medium home value is less than four times medium household income. The counties marked in yellow, the medium home values between four and six times the household income. The red is medium home values between six and ten times household income. And the very dark maroon is medium home values greater than ten times medium household income. The green counties are more affordable and then as we go to the yellow and red and then maroon, these become less affordable. As we look on the western one-third of the United States, we'll see a lot of red out here. In those states, the medium home value is much higher than the income. This equates to our chart that we looked at a moment ago that showed that the cost of living on the western United States was much higher than other areas. Here's our cost of living by state. And again, you can see the western one-third of the United States has a higher cost of living. We're back to our bank rate, best states to retire in 22 analysis here. And we're looking at affordability here. And if you notice here, Tennessee is ranked number two. Now, if we zoom in on the county map for Tennessee here, even though Tennessee has a high affordability, there are still areas within Tennessee that are contrary to that. You'll see some areas in red here. These areas have very high housing costs. That would be around Nashville and Franklin, for example. If we take a look at Florida, even though it ranks number one on this list for the best states to retire 2022, you can see there's still a lot of red in the area where housing cost is very high. You can see down here around Miami area and on the southwestern coast of Florida, a lot of red up to maybe Sarasota area. If we look at these other states that are in low cost of living areas, we can see that there's isolated areas where we can see that there's red. Those are areas where the cost of living is higher in those counties due to the cost of housing being much higher. If you want to move to a state that has the lowest cost of living, you've got to dig a little bit deeper and look at it even down to the county level. Now, many folks, when they retire, they want to move from the north and move down to the southern areas where it's warmer. But just because it's warmer, especially if you look out here on the west coast, you'll see it's not necessarily less expensive. In the same way with Florida. Florida has areas that's very expensive, even though it's listed as number one state to retire in. Now, if you want to move to a less expensive state for retirement, here's a few strategies to think about. One is you can get details on the economy and area you want to spend in retirement. You can visit the Chamber of Commerce or the Economic Development Agency to learn about the area. To help you determine the cost of living, review housing cost and rental cost. Ensure that the area has a low crime rate. You can look at the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting Program. Look into health providers, okay? So you can review guides to find the best hospitals and health insurance plans in the state. Check out the weather. There's sites like WeatherSpark and Weather Underground that you can check out. And I like to recommend this. Test drive the city that you pick to retire to. Live there for a few months or maybe a year to just get a feel for the area and talk to the locals in the area and get their input on what's going on in the city. We looked at the states with the lowest and the highest cost of living. We also looked at the bank rate study on the best states to retire in 2022. Now, the third thing I do want to mention is make sure you don't become 
paralyzed by looking at too much data. You can become what's called paralysis of analysis. So you have to look the information over, make a decision, go there and check it out and see if that's the place that you want to live. So I hope this information was useful to you. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Stay tuned for our next update.